What is up you guys? Welcome back. I hope that you're all doing well if you're new here. Welcome. My name is Carmen. I am a professional makeup artist and in today's video I'm going to create this colorful look that you see right here. I really wanted to use again the Monochromas palette from Handash and I felt like doing a colorful look. So if this sounds good to you then please keep on watching but before we get into it don't forget to subscribe. It would mean so so much to me if you would decide subscribing and joining this wonderful family that we have here in this channel. Also please don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it and if you find it helpful. It also helps me so so much if you press that like button. All right without further ado let's dive in. I'm going to start by applying highlighter to the highest points of my face before I apply foundation. Okay, so this is the Jouer Bloom Bronze and Glow in the shade Sunrise. It's a bronzer and highlighter duo. Really nice for traveling if you are traveling now in the summer. Kind of a lot of people are. So uh, yeah, it has two sides, bronzer, highlighter. I'm going to use both. But for now, I'm just going to use the highlighter. So the highlighter is called Rose Quartz. I have it here on the back of my hand. I just like to warm it up with my fingers like this and as I said I'm going to apply it to the highest points. I just pulled um, with a tweezer some hairs from my eyebrows and they're like all over my face now. <laughs> nice. Bridge of my nose and Cupid's bow. I haven't used this foundation in a while so I wanted to you know use it today. This is the light reflecting foundation from NARS and I have mine in the shade Deville. I'm just going to shake it again. So I have a new microphone you guys. Um, I've been wanting to change my microphone for quite some time now and I have a new fancy one. So I would really, really appreciate it if you would leave me a feedback about the sound. What do you guys think about it? Is it better? Is it not? Did I waste my money? <laughs> I hope I didn't. Yeah, so it would be really nice if you could like tell me what you think. It Cosmetics Complexion Perfection Brush. Dude, like the smell of this foundation always just puts me off. Like it's so bad. I really, really don't like it. So I'm using my Makeup Forever sponge to just perfect the foundation. Make sure that everything is beautifully and seamlessly blended. This looks so beautiful and glowy once you get past the smell. I don't know. Do you guys have this foundation? Does the smell bother you as much as it does me? Because it really, really bothers me at first when I apply it. But now it's fine. Like, I cannot feel it. But at first, it's really out there. I don't know. LA Girl Pro Conceal Peach Corrector. I always like to correct underneath my eyes. And I just ordered a new one, so you will be seeing uh, this product quite a lot. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Do I even like have to tell you guys that I'm using this because it's it's just a staple in my routine at this point? I don't know. I don't know what to say, but I have very pigmented under eyes. I mean, I've seen worse. But I have a lot, a lot of veins that show through and that make my under eyes kind of bluish and I really, really don't like this. So using a peach corrector will really, really help with anything um, that looks blue or purple underneath the eyes. You just need to apply it in a very thin layer. So. You know, you won't have to use too much concealer because when you have to use a lot of concealer just to cover everything, it's either a cakey mess or the concealer will just gather up in uh, in your lines and it's, it's not ideal. 
So to conceal underneath my eyes today, I'm going to mix the um, Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Concealer with the NARS Radiant Creamy. <laughs> I like to mix the, the Radiant Creamy with everything. The Pat McGrath one is in the shade L5 and the NARS Radiant Creamy is in the shade Macadamia. Yeah, I, I don't know. I like to mix products. Maybe it's like a makeup artist thing. I don't know, but I really, I really like doing this. Whenever you mix something, you just kind of get the best out of, you know, both worlds. So this is kind of what I'm trying to do here. This is what I'm going for. Having the best of both worlds is always, you know, better. Lancome Tanti Doll for spot concealing. And I'm also going to mix a bit of the Pat McGrath with the Lancome. Again, I love to mix products. Before I blend out the spot concealing, I like to just let the concealer sit for a bit and then I will take my finger and tap everywhere. Anyway, I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer. I'm going to continue, you know, doing the rest of my face after I do my eyes as per usual. And uh, yeah, I'm going to bring you closer so I can start the eye makeup. I went ahead and I did my eyebrows. I'm going to use the Rare Beauty eye primer now. This brush is from Zoeva. Just making sure that I have no creases. So this is a 234 brush. I haven't used this palette a lot since I got it. So I want to use it today. I feel like doing something colorful. Flat brush from Hakuhodo B004G. I am going to start by applying the lightest blue. Can you focus? Yeah, thank you. So if you guys don't know what this palette is, it's the Monochromas palette from Hindash. I have a three looks one palette video featuring this um, this particular palette if you're interested. So I'm basically just packing this on the eyelid. I just took some more. I'm really getting into that crease with the same shade. I'm just doing the shape that I always do here in the outer corner, kind of lifted. It looks like this. Blending brush, Hakuhodo J553. I'm just going to blend the edges here. This eye pencil is from Makeup Forever and it's called Whatever Black. I mean the shade 100 Whatever Black. I want to do like an eyeliner with it. I'm just checking to see if I'm in focus. It really, really annoys me whenever I do something and I'm not in focus because I really want you guys to, you know, be able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to take now the 317 brush from Zoeva and I'm going to stretch this and kind of do the shape that I want. Now I'm going to take this pencil brush from Hakuhodo and I'm going to take this purple right here. So it's kind of the darkest one and I'm going to use it to pack it over the pencil. I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to just wipe this down a little bit. So I took the same shade on it and I am just packing it over the black pencil. So now I'm going to take again the darkest purple on the same brush and I'm going to line the rest of my lash line here. So it's now like a gradient eyeliner. I hope that it's like visible on camera, like noticeable. Taking the same shade, I'm now going 
at the base of my lower lashes. I'm going to take now the small brush from Refer. This is the number 23. I'm just going to take it over the eyeshadow on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take this brush from Hakuhoro and I'm just going to take the purple from here and I'm just going to apply it on the lower lash line. I keep building this up. I have this eyeliner from Zoeva. It's called New Jewels. <laughs> I hope it's not gonna like fall from the from the pencil, the inside. I'm just going to use it to align my waterline. And now I'm also going to tie line with it. I know tie lining looks a bit like um, torture. But once you get used to it, you're going to see it makes such a big difference at the lash line and just at how all the look comes together. I'm going to take a bit of the Inglot 77 eyeliner gel. This is the black eyeliner gel. Well, if you've been here before, then you already know. <laughs> I kind of tend to use this uh, in all my videos. Yeah, 99% of them actually, to be more precise, I think. So I'm going to use this just here in my inner portion of the eye. So I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter in my inner corners. I still have uh, Champagne Pop from Becca here on my desk. Refer number 28 brush. Now I'm going to use the concealer brush and just take care of the fallout. I do have a little bit of fallout here underneath my eyes. So now I'm going to add the tiniest bit of the Pat McGrath concealer and I'm going to correct my under eyes. I always, always need to apply a little bit more concealer here and just a tiny bit there. I'm just going to take the sponge and blend this a little bit. Now I'm going to take this refer number 16 brush and the Laura Mercier loose translucent powder. I'm going to powder my under eyes. I'm going to use another powder for the rest of my face, but I just want to set my under eyes with this powder. Max Stack Mascara with the micro brush. So I popped some lashes, individuals, just here in the outer corners. I feel like it just elevates the look. And now I'm going to apply some more highlighter. And I have here again the Jouer Stick. So this is the Bloom Bronze and Glow. And here is the highlighter part. I have it again on the back of my hand. And now I'm just going to intensify that glow. I just want a little bit more. I'm also going to apply a tiny bit here and also here. Fenty Beauty Match 6 in the shade Amber. I think you already are used to this product. So this is the e.l.f. Stipple brush and I haven't used this brush in quite some time and I just remembered that I have it a few days ago. So why am I using this brush? My um, Refer brush is dirty, the one that I always use. And actually, I have to say that brush is just perfect, perfect. Because um, I feel like this one is just like eating up a lot of the product. So I'm also contouring my nose. I'm also going to apply some product here on the hairline. So I'm going to use the same stick product from Jouer. Just uh, the bronzer side, this is Sunrise. I'm just gonna use the brush that I've used to apply foundation. And I'm going to apply this to warm up my face. So I'm gonna apply a little bit here on the bridge of my nose. 
So this is another stick product from Jouer. This has two blushes, two cream blushes. I'm going to use uh, this one. This is called Uplift Me. And again, I'm going to use the same brush. This is a very, very beautiful blush. I feel like it goes perfectly with the eye look. Now I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm going to take a small uh, candle brush. This one is from Hakuhodo. This is a J5521. And I'm going to set my face with it. I'm starting with the center of my face. Can you see how this just blurs everything? The magic eraser. And I'm also going to set my cheeks. Now I'm going to use some powder bronzer. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. And the Refer Number 05 brush. I just really felt like I needed a bit more warmth. I'm also going to apply a bit of bronzer here. Again, I really, really feel like I need the warmth just to balance everything out. And I'm also going to apply some more blush. This is uh, Sublime Flush by Hourglass. And this is the Refer Number 04 brush. Just the tiniest bit of product. I'm not going to apply a lot. Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm just applying this kind of all over. And in the center of my lips, I'm going to use Penelope Pink from Charlotte Tilbury also. I'm just going to apply it using the refer number 28 brush. I'm very lazy to go look for another lip brush, so this will kind of have to do. All right, so this is it. This is the finished look. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I really hope that you do as much as I do because I really, really love this look. I love how it turned out. I really needed some color. So here you go, color. <laughs> Why do I always do things with my hands? I always have to talk with my hands. Like if we had a conversation in real life, you wouldn't even be able to see my face because of my hands. All right. Thank you so, so much for watching, for being here. I appreciate having you here more than you will ever know. Please don't forget to subscribe and press that like button if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye.